Hi, I'm Niall, I'm 33, I'm from Tala, and I'm gay. On the 22nd of May, you and the rest of the Irish people are going to be asked to vote on whether you're willing to extend the rights of civil marriage to same-sex couples. It's not about God, there's no religion involved, it's just two people who love each other standing up in a registry office and joining their two families together. Voting yes in the referendum is not going to help me become a dad. And voting no is not going to stop me becoming a dad either. All you're going to do is stop me from marrying the person that I love. Mary McAleese said that the referendum wasn't about parenting, but that it was about children. And she was right. This referendum is about children and families and how we view them and which families we value more than others and which families we rate as less equal and less valid. As teachers, we're in the business of dealing with children and families every day. We want what's right for them. We are teachers for marriage equality. We're voting yes, and this is why. Hi, I'm Eileen and I'm voting yes. I'm a primary school teacher and when I came out when I was 28, I instantly was treated differently in work and in my community. I don't want other teachers in other schools or other children to grow up and know what it feels like to be treated like a second class citizen. My name is Murin and I'm from Dublin and I taught for nearly 40 years in Malahide. We expect that two people have the freedom and the choice to make a commitment of love and devotion to each other and this is what we're being asked to vote on. In my eyes as a teacher all my children are equal. I think that the upcoming marriage referendum will give children of the future, the gay children, the opportunity and to feel valued, equal and indeed part of a new Ireland that we are hoping to achieve on May 22nd. I'm Owen and I'm a secondary school teacher from Dublin and I'll be voting yes on May 22nd because I believe that discrimination of any kind is wrong. David, Nilly Gwilas Anand Dumpster, I'm in my previous Atanisha, in my school to and Dolkan in Plundalk. I will be voting in favour of the marriage referendum in May because I believe in equality for all, openness, honesty and fairness for all children and people in society. For me this isn't about weddings or a big day out or a fancy cake. For me this is about being treated equally and with respect in every facet of my life, every day. About a third of children are growing up in, in families um, where it's not this traditional structure of mum and dad married to each other in their first marriage. Um, so this applies to a huge proportion of Irish children and if we kind of perpetuate this notion that there's only one form of family, um, from a psychological perspective I think that can be quite damaging. My name's Brian, I'm a secondary school teacher in Dublin and I'm going to vote yes on May 22nd uh, for my friends, for my colleagues and most of all for my students. I'd like them to grow up in a world where people are treated equally. As teachers in the classroom every day, we always talk to our students about um, everybody has the opportunity to be different, but yet that they are equal. And it's really important in relation to the referendum that as the students grow and they become older, that they can, they can celebrate each other's differences, regardless of their, their color, regardless of their religion, regardless of their sexual orientation. I will be voting yes on May the 22nd because um, I feel that every relationship should be able to outwardly show um, their commitment, love and security to one another. There are families that have a mom and a dad, there are families with single mothers, single dads, maybe grandparents, they're all different and for younger children their family is their entire world and their family is perfect to them. Who am I or who is anybody else to say that their family isn't perfect? If their family is a loving one, then that is the perfect family for that child to be in. I am speaking today as a, as a teacher educator, but first and foremost I'm a father. I'm a father of two young twin girls. Um, and when one of them potentially returns to me at 25 or 35 or whatever and you know talks about getting married to someone that she's met, um, and wonders why she can't marry her female partner and while her sister potentially could marry her male partner and she questions well why is that and you know looks me in the eye and goes daddy what did you do about it when you had the chance so this is my chance and this is my opportunity small as it may be to put a tick in a yes box for us we would hope to have a family in the future 
and we want to have a world where our children can grow up and whether they're gay or straight, they can have the same opportunity in every aspect of life, including marriage, that we have had. The children in our schools are not born intolerant. We teach that through what we say and what we do. So the best thing I can do is vote yes on May 22nd. Finally, my final plea would be this, that your vote, my vote, makes the difference. So that's why I urge everybody not to be afraid. Seize this moment. For me, it's like doing the right thing because it is the right thing to do. But now that we know better, we can do better. So that's why I'm voting yes.